just as I start to get the Voscoin mining farm back online. Well, let me tell you, okay? Ah, uh, unfortunately, there's a new Bitcoin miner, and I haven't even gotten most of my new Bitcoin miners yet. Uh, specifically, I have several Bitmain Amp Miner S19 XP miners on the way, but forget about them, ladies and gentlemen, because Bitmain is dropping a new absolute powerhouse. Bitcoin mining is changing. This is the news of the Amp Miner S21 which is officially being unveiled at WDMS. But what does that even mean? My name is Vosker on the Vosker YouTube channel. I'm gonna get you up to speed on the S21 and everything else you need to know. We got the leaked specs, we got the leaked everything. This is huge, this is massive. This is, this is gonna change the game when it comes to Bitcoin mining, a billion dollar industry. So there's some PR releases and stuff like that. The key takeaway from this is the Antminer S21, but then of course Bitmain and all their Bitmainliness and S21 Pro. So there's gonna be two models here. Bitmain is a major miner manufacturer. Uh, they are about to have their WDMS 2023, their World Digital Mining Summit. And actually really cool they invited us, uh, but schedule wise it just didn't work out for me. Uh, the logistics from me getting from United States, Virginia to Hong Kong uh, is difficult for me. This is critical information though because they are unveiling officially the S21 there. Uh, so there's been a couple spec leaks and things like that. Uh, maybe the S21, not pro version is 210. There's the leak from hash rate index. It doesn't have a lot of the information we want, like you know the power draw, but it does show 210 tera hash a second. But this is uh, one of the main leaks uh, that's going around. Um, and this seems to be true and accurate uh, from the digging I've been able to do so far. Uh, so this is the Antminer S21, not the pro version. 210 tera hash a second. Okay, that's the mining power. This is an ASIC miner. It's an application specific integrated circuit miner. It looks very much like an ant miner S19. We have those all over our mining farm, just like everyone else who's mining Bitcoin. Uh, this is very efficient. I mean, this is revolutionary when it comes to Bitcoin mining. The speculation is that 250 terahash a second is gonna be the pro version. We'll see. Uh, as it stands, the 210 is the S19 non-pro version that we know about so far. Uh, so this miner will mine over $12 a day in Bitcoin right now. Uh, it will cost you at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, seven and a half dollars a day. Keep in mind, there's some Bitcoin mining farms operating at two cent electricity. This thing's gonna pull some serious cash. And uh, the worse your electricity rate is, say you go towards like 12 cents, uh, Bitcoin mining becomes just less and less interesting, but still to be able to pull three bucks a day at a 12 cent per kilowatt hour electricity rate is very interesting. This is not a miner that will be priced at $10,000. We are likely to see these sold around the $6,000 mark. I'm guessing, estimating. And if you're looking to buy a Bitcoin miner, I'd like to introduce you to someone who has supported our channel for many years now. It's Coin Mining Central. We have an affiliate code, but more importantly, we've got a discount code, Punch in Voscoin to save some coin. It's linked out below. They've got all kinds of different minor, minor models, uh, which is great because when it comes to Bitcoin mining, there's miners really to fit any budget. Like an S19J Pro Plus, I've got some of those on my farm. They're great miners and they're only $2,500. But keep in mind, this is a similar power draw with half the performance of this new S21 miner. But Bitmain is still slinging their Antminer S19 JXP, which is the 151 terahash a second version. I recently got another Antminer S19 XP in from Coin Mining Central. It's specifically the 141 terahash a second version, and those are coming in right now at about $4,000. If you grab one and the coupon eligibility is still there, you can buy from Bitmain for around $3,500 to $5,000 for this miner. Uh, keep in mind that this is like previous generation. Uh, and these are not coming out too soon. Uh, they're supposed to ship sometime quarter four. That's anywhere between freaking October to the end of December. You also always pay a 30% tariff markup import tax in the United States when you buy directly from Bitmain, depending where these miners come from resellers, they may have already picked up that tariff. A lot of people overlook that, it's very important. 
And I'm not trying to push Coin Mining Central a ton or any other ASIC resellers. I just want you to be more informed if you're new to this. With the fact that these miners are expected Q4 2023, the absolute earliest that we would see the first batch of the S21 would be quarter one 2024. The elephant in the room is going to be the Bitcoin halving. I can only imagine that they would want to basically hit the mark of getting a bunch of these out right before the halving and the profitability plummets. As it stands, Bitcoin mining becomes more and more difficult, quite literally. Bitcoin just hit an all time high in mining difficulty. That means as of right now, it is more difficult than it has ever been in the history of Bitcoin to mine a freaking Bitcoin. You look back at the charts and you're like, you know, we, we thought times were tough. It was difficult to mine back then. Oh my gosh. In the last crypto bull run, right? The numbers around then, we've more than two to three X in the difficulty to mining a Bitcoin. Crazy. In the last 24 hours, $22 million of new Bitcoin were mined. And yet the mining difficulty has gone up 6%. This is uh, very, it's gonna be very strenuous for Bitcoin miners. You gotta be running a tight ship. There's a lot of publicly traded Bitcoin mining stocks. Disclosure, I have some. I don't even need to drop any names today. Uh, but you know, some of those guys are killing it with their electricity costs, their hardware uh, costs, you know, just running their operations. Uh, so some of those will be able to survive. Me personally, my Bitcoin mining operation at 10 cents per kilowatt hour and operating on single phase, which I'm working on getting to three phase as well as getting my electricity costs down. I'm in for some really rough waters once the halving hits. If I could get into the efficiency, okay, of the S21, if I could get into this efficiency level, well, I might be back in the game, uh, but that's gonna cost more money to get into. Uh, we're just going to have to see where this goes. And keep in mind, this is air-cooled. This is the most powerful, the most profitable air-cooled Bitcoin mining rig ever that you can use in, in basically what I consider normal mining deployments. You don't need any kind of weird power supplies or direct wires or anything. I mean, right there, you have C13 cable connections plugged right into a PDU, just like an Antminer S19 uh, and all the other miners that people probably know and are, are familiar with. The hash price for miners continues to drop and uh, Luxor and Hashrate Index, you know, the same company basically, uh, they could not have just it sounded more snobby when they wrote this. I just got to give them some crap. Uh, you know, they, they've been working on some good stuff over there for years, but like hash price, a term coined by me, by the way, refers to XYZ, whatever, one tera hash of hashing power per day. It's just kind of funny. Tell me what the hell hash price is and then plug yourself. I mean, geez. You're worse than that Voscoin guy, no, guy on YouTube talking about, you know, click his links in the video description below. But I do have to say, when you guys do that, you, you support the content. Um, and so, you know, jokes aside, YouTube ad revenue is not enough to keep Voscoin afloat, especially in a bear market. So all you guys that do tune in, watch the channel, support the channel, means everything. But as always, I'm here to bring you facts, not push, you know, gear on you or whatever. Bottom line though here, we look at hash price. This basically means it is cheaper than ever uh, more or less we just you know hit a recent low we got three months wow we got one year uh, we're pretty much nearly at a one year low in hash price which means that effectively you can buy more bitcoin mining hash rate for the money uh really than like ever uh we got five years i mean look at the chart it, it's very 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 low uh, but keep in mind, as more powerful miners come out, efficiency goes up, hash price will naturally become cheaper. And this old hardware will just, you know, kind of be rendered obsolete. When I evaluate the Voscoin mining side of Voscoin, right, because I view Voscoin as being multifaceted these days. Um, and so I have a mining farm operation I've been working on and building out. As much as I love Bitcoin and I've made it an absolute core piece of the Voscoin mining farm, and I'll stick to that out of, you know, ethos alone, um, it's just incredibly compatible and it may just not be viable for me to continue mining Bitcoin long term until I deploy my solar panels and can basically just produce my own electricity. I make more money and I earn more coins mining Dogecoin, mining Caspa, uh, mining uh, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, right? All these other cryptocurrencies, even Nervos and Dash, Cadena. I've, if you've been following the channel, I just deployed a hard drive mining shed, a shed built around literally just mining with hard drives, specifically farming Chia. The amount of money mined per day in Chia versus their market cap is 
absolutely insane. It's unreal. The only comparable coin to that is going to be Caspa, and it has become an absolute arms race uh, with Caspa ASIC miners. Uh, we look over, uh, you know, since the Caspa ASIC miners have hit uh, on Cas, I mean, it's insane. It's become like eight times more difficult to mine one Casper coin over the last month. Like that is absolutely crazy. I cannot understand. I cannot understate that. But keep in mind that new hardware with insane efficiency is hitting their network. They're experiencing basically rapid evolution of their mining network security uh, and all that. Uh, so you know, that's why I've been really gung-ho on Chia mining. A lot of people give me crap because it's a slower ROI, but it, it's so much easier to earn more than you burn in electricity, even at residential higher electricity rates. We look at the net space on Chia. We are not at an all-time high for Chia mining, uh, not even close. We're down something like 30% from there. It's steadily climbing and the price of the coin isn't. I guess I just felt rejuvenated on that front because the evergreen miners have been so fun and easy to use. And we also just made a review, if you don't wanna grab an evergreen miner, you can grab a juicy miner and check that video out. That's another plug and play Chia miner. There's pros and cons to both. Uh, but you know, as a consumer, you should always be aware and check them both out. We do have links for both. We got coupon codes, Voscoin for both. Uh, but what's also really cool about Chia farming and it's much unlike, for example, helium, there's no gatekeeping. Uh, you can DIY your own Chia rig if you want to, but it is a bit difficult. Uh, so people will oftentimes find the plug and play miners, you know, as an incredible, you know, easy button. Ultimately, when it comes to Bitcoin mining, I mean, wow, this is honestly kind of crazy. We're going into the Bitcoin halving. Bitcoin price is lackluster. We've been in a sustained bear market. There's this incredibly more efficient which is like always king in mining and, and more powerful so you have more density i mean it's just it's it's much better what's the only thing that's worse about it assuming it for, performs well like the previous generations or at least s19 s17 is kind of sucked uh but it's just gonna be the price that's that's gonna be the bad thing uh it may not make sense i mean oh it'll make it'll make sense i'll make dollars uh but it may make more sense for other people than others haha -ha. get it you see what i did there I made the sense joke again, but differently. So as always, crypto is crazy, crypto mining is crazy, and Bitcoin is just going to be crazy waters here in the Bitcoin ocean because new miner, huge efficiency jump, more powerful, the halving's on the way, the price is lackluster. I mean, it's the bottom of the eighth, bases are loaded, and, and let's see where this goes because it's going to be climactic. Uh, a lot of Bitcoin mining operations are about to go belly up uh, if things do not change, myself included. So that's all I got today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Voscoin YouTube channel. If for no other reason than to see 10 Seconds of Tales, she's our CBO, the Chief Bitcoin Officer here at Voscoin. Uh, please hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the current status, because that's how you say status if you're fancy of Bitcoin mining. That's all I've got.